Hi, my name is Mansoor Nathani, and in this video, I'm going to use um, Group Policy, a feature of um, Active Directory 2003, and demonstrate how it can be used to get rid of a simple, uh, annoying uh, feature of Microsoft that they've introduced with Internet Explorer 8. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So here, I have three machines in this domain: uh, a domain controller, which is 2003. Uh, a Windows 7 machine which is a client, a, m a member of this domain as well as an XP machine which is also a member of this domain. So just to show you what I'm talking about I'm going to log in here. Log into the domain, it's called ADM. Let's do the same thing here with while the XP machine is loading in. Let's actually log into the domain controller as well. Okay, so in this uh, virtual machine, the XP machine, I have uh, Internet Explorer 8 already running, so let's just open it up. And there you see it's it's browsing to its home page like normal. But then what's this? Set up Windows Internet Explorer 8. I don't want this. I don't want my users to see this. I don't ever want to have to fill this in next or ask me later. Like I just want this to go away forever. So I need group policy to do that. Uh, same thing on, on the, the Windows 7 machine. If we open up Internet Explorer, which is also Internet Explorer by default, uh, 8 by default on Windows 7. Uh, similar deal. What is this? Welcome to Internet Explorer 8. So we want to get rid of these. Um, so what we need to do is go over to our domain controller. This is 2003. And uh, by default, 2003 domain controller does not have uh, the necessary attributes to prevent those from showing up because two, uh, Internet Explorer 8 is newer than um, 2003 domain controller. So let's go into group policy management. And actually we need to download a certain file off the internet so I actually have the link saved but let's see if we can find it. If we go to Google and search for that's that's pretty much it so administrative templates for Windows Internet Explorer 9 it's a 2.7 megabyte download let's just go ahead and download it let's save it and put it on our desktop and now uh, they've given us some instructions for server 2003 it says copy it to this folder windir slash inf but you notice when I try to copy that file in here, it says there's an existing file already. So let's just hit no, find the existing file. inetrest.edm, it's a 1.6 meg file. So let's just uh, add a .org. So we have the original file and then we drop the, the new file. And then the next step, it says, is expand, uh, type gpedit.msc, but I don't want to do it for the local machine, I want to do it for the domain. So we'll, we'll do that, it says expand local computer policy, and then expand computer conf configuration. Right click on administrative templates. If you see inet res template, click remove, then click close. So let's do that, so we want default domain. Normally you'd create a, a new group policy and you don't want to mess with the default domain but this is just an example. So here we want to add remove. Hine address is already here so we want to remove it. Hit close. Right click, add remove templates, add and add Hine address again. Alright, now if we go into Windows Components Internet Explorer 
and look for prevent performance there that's the one enable this and go directly to home page that's pretty much all we need to do on the domain controller side uh, to force this update to take place right now I'm gonna go in here to the Windows 7 machine and run a command called GP update slash force same thing on the XP machine Um, in the meantime, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer and normally we would have seen the um, the annoying welcome screen by now but we're not going to see it anymore on in any of the machines on the domain with any user. So I'm going to just demonstrate with a new user. Let's create a new user. Let's call it test. Give it a strong password. Never expires. So let's log into the XP machine with this test user. And in the meantime, We won't do that right now in the admin tools. Uh, let's let's try to log into the domain with the test user. Actually, let's see if we can force the, the home page to be google.ca. I'm not exactly sure where the home page setting is, so I'm just going to do a quick search. It says it's in user configuration, window settings. Internet Explorer maintenance, URLs, alright so I've set that here let's go ahead here and Oh, what I wanted to demonstrate with this test user, we're seeing no welcome screen in, in either. And if we should go back here, there you go. The home page has been set to Google. And if we 
force the group policy to update we should see here that the home page has now been set to Google as well. Thank you for watching.